this video, we're going to talk about masking and specifically masking for beginners. So first of all, what is a mask? A mask is basically just a selection of a certain area of your video that makes it easy to adjust to that specific area with whatever you want to adjust that. That could be color, or contrast, something else that you want to do to that specific part. Now, the reason we want to use masking is because it can be very beneficial to select certain areas and do different things with it. For example, we can control lighting or we can mask out our subject and make them stand out more from our background. So that is a mask and why we want to use it. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and look at where to put it and how to use it in a simple way. All right, so we're inside DaVinci Resolve in the color page and let me show you where to put the mask. But first of all, let's just get this log image looking a little bit better. So this will be our conversion and I'm just gonna use my LUT pack to make this super fast and easy. I'm gonna convert it to Rec 709. This shot was quite overexposed. I'm adding serial nodes before. I'm just using Shift S, but you can do it however you want. And this one will be our LUT. This one will be our exposure. And I already messed up, so we're gonna switch these around and we're gonna add one more here that's going to be our mask so first of all i'm going to put on lot i'm going to use my sunny diffusion just because it works really well for this makes it even more overexposed to begin with but for the exposure what i want to do here is first turn down the lift quite a bit then turn down the offset to get the image to a nicer starting point here and maybe the lift was a little bit too much and i want to see where his skin tone lies they are between 50 and 60 so maybe a little bit too low but it's okay because it's quite a soft image so with a few clicks we got from this to this and now we could just be super happy and satisfied with this image and how it is but masking can just enhance it quite a bit more so after our initial color corrections and our initial grading, what we can do is we can tweak it even further with our masking. So let me clean up things here and let's just ask a basic mask. In DaVinci Resolve, these are called windows, power windows to be more exact. And if we add a circular power window, what we can do here is we can add a little bit more contrast around our subject. So I'm gonna make this power window around our subject here and move out the softening. If I click Shift H, I can see exactly what we are selecting and maybe even put the softening up to around 50 just to soften out the edges and make the mask list obvious. With this selected, our node will only affect this area. So if I go into our tone curve again and I just add a little bit of contrast here, what we can see, maybe even a little bit more, is that our subject is affected also the edges around a little bit, but it blends in quite nicely. And we can see this is before and this is after. So this is an easy way to just add a little bit more contrast to our subject, making her stand out a little bit more. Now we can take it a step further and add two more masks. So let's do that. To do this, I'm gonna use parallel notes. I have a whole video talking about the different notes, but what it essentially means is that it'll blend together these different notes to make it even more seamless, which is perfect for making great masks. So I'm gonna call this one highlights and this one shadows. For the highlight mask, I'm gonna make another mask here, another power window. I'm gonna drag it out to the corner here and I'm gonna make it quite a bit bigger. Then I'm gonna put the softening up to 100 just to make it blend out as much as possible. And we could maybe even drag it out a little bit more and see that we have all of this selected. I'm gonna keep it simple. So what I wanna do here, since it's already quite bright, I'm not gonna boost the highlights as I normally would. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm in the gain here, I'm gonna add three red and two green. Now it's very subtle, but you can see a slight warm glow, which is what I was going for here. I just wanted to enhance that sunset feeling that we had here and warm up the image a little bit. Now for the shadows, we can go to the other side and let's just keep it super simple in this one and use another circular mask from this side here and make the softening 100. And that goes out all the way here. So that's pretty good. And what we can do here is I actually just want her side to be hit a little bit here. And what I want to do here now is I might want to turn down the shadows a little bit by doing so. And then I can add a little bit of teal just to give a little bit more color balance. I'm going to add three blue and two green. And that just gives us this blue teal cast. Now, see with these three masks, we've gone from this to this and it really allows us to control both the lighting and the contrast individually on different parts of the image and on our subject itself making her stand out more and giving us more colored balance between the more teal blue shadows and the warmer highlights. So essentially a mask is just a selection of a particular part of the image making it easy after your initial color grading and color correction to make the image stand out more and tweak those imperfections or get the image and the look and the feel exactly how you want it. So that's what I got for you today. This was just a simple tutorial on masking. I hope it helped. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And with that said, I'll catch you 
in the next one.